Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky, which is a beautiful, chilly Tuesday. How are we all? Doing well. Well, that's good to hear, Miss <laughs> Katie. So, love. What about you, dear? Doing good. Hey, you know, I'm really looking forward. You were chatting about Kendra jewelry before. So oh yeah, Kendra Scott. Gorgeous options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are even some options to sort of design and make your own jewelry. I love um, that. So yeah. I got you. I'm excited to see hey, this stuff. Um, we've been chatting about fitness and all those sorts of things mm -hmm. on the show and everyone's been, you know, I've been telling you all that. I'm back at the gym and I was just saying to one of our guests who's coming on, Carrie, I said, I swear to God, I'm not losing any weight by going to this gym every day. <laughs> it's killing me. And, I, and last night I did, not, I burned 900 calories. Yeah. And yep, nothing this morning. Well, give it time. But give that's even time. what Lydia tells us. Uh, well, it's no, all diet. Does. It's not it's exercise. It's all in the head. No, it's all in the... <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem. You, I work you out, but I eat mouth. so much. No, I know it's because it's problem. my problem. I think if I, you know, run for 10 minutes, I can, you know, eat 10,000 calories. <laughs> right. It's true. It's, it's so tough. And look, I'm it's sure hard. you all at home also suffer the same pain. Mm -hmm. But it's just, you know what? I can't help it, people. I just shove anything in that mouth. <laughs> And now we're getting those delicious fall foods. Just oh, I know. stay away. The That's all I can say. Stay away <laughs> from anything. But I swear I'm going to get through it. Last night I got up to five minutes running. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Five minute intervals and I felt great about it. But um, it's hard darn work, everyone. Mm -hmm. When you get back into the gym and you get going again. Mm -hmm. Remember the first, <laughs> the first day, three, four weeks ago, I literally did the workout drove home and then I went to get out of the car and my legs were like jelly. <laughs> it wasn't even the next day, it was an hour after the event. <laughs> That's just not normal. Is yeah. it? No, it really sounds hey, like you're making progress. Yeah, I'm getting there. I, I was a little jelly last night but not mm -hmm. too much. Hey, I wanted to ask you, you've got kids of course, you're mm -hmm. the only one on the panel that does, and are you ever late for school? Um, sometimes, once in a great while. Okay. Once in a great while. But what would make you late? Um, just, you know, the boys... Bad hair day? The bad... No. <laughs> bad boys not wanting to get out of the bed. That's what it is. But, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I try to get everybody on a time schedule and keep us on track. Okay, well, I thought about this when I saw this story, and it's happening to a school in Utah. Okay. Stansbury Park High School will now be charging a fee for lateness. And if oh. you are late once, you get a warning, but if you're late again, you'll have to pay a $3 fee. And then an additional tardy will result in a $5 fee for every time you are late. Wow. What do you think? Wow. Well, um, you know, I, I think I like that they have a warning first before something like that happens. It depends on the school district, too. I mean, you know, that may seem like, you know, decent, okay money for some people. For others, for families, that could be pretty detrimental. And, and you know, well, there's a like lot of different environments of families out there and, and, I just, I, I feel like that it might be a little too much for some school districts. Yeah, okay. I, I like it if there's a way to force the child to pay. Not, the parent shouldn't have to pay for that. Because in high school, you're getting ready to go off on your own. You exactly, need to yeah. on your own to get up. I would like no, to see on, no, no, a way where the kids. high school, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They should have the students should have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. I would like to see something where maybe you have to pay that three dollar fee, mm -hmm. but you earn it by picking up trash every ten minutes yes. is two dollars or whatever. I think the child they should yeah. make sure that the child is the one paying because for some families that that could be a lot of money and you're not really punishing the child, yeah. you're punishing the parents. And that's what I was saying at high school age, it should be on them to mm -hmm. get to school on time. So I like the idea of finding them but a way to make it that yes. the child is responsible. I didn't realize this the, was high school. Family. Well, you didn't listen to my intro. I, d I must not have. <laughs> I, I well, I listened completely to it, but <laughs> then you still cut me off. I appreciate <laughs> you doing that. <laughs> I completely missed the fact that you it was high school. You tuned out. So, yes, I yeah. did. I, well, I tend to do that with you I think sometimes. I yes, I well, we do it to each other. <laughs> no, we do. You know, um, here's the thing. I, I don't have an issue with it because what you're saying, Katie, is teaching the kids a lesson in a way because let me tell you yes. if you are continually late for work if you're continually late for the later part of your life as such uh -huh. it, i think high school and college or university is a great training tool mm -hmm. for you in the workforce mm -hmm. and those responsibilities you know being at, on time at school being on time for your classes making sure you do your homework and things like that mm -hmm. is in training for the your work world. life. Don't yeah. you agree? Absolutely. Um, I, I, I think, I don't know whether it's parents that make kids late. Mm -hmm. I don't know, is it? 
Like I don't but think I think so, I like I putting so. the responsibility on the child, but I don't really like the monetary fine. I think mm-hmm. there should be a punishment of you know community service or picking up something mm-hmm. where you make sure that it's not the parent that's suffering by having to pay. Well, this for school a in child. Utah has seen a big uptake in people arriving on time, and they were saying it's totally working, and they actually haven't had to charge anyone as of yet. Really? Because the minute they implemented this, everyone was on time, <laughs> and they were saying that the hallways are usually <gasps> empty as classes begin. Yeah. So I actually think it's pretty good. That's interesting. I think it's good. Uh, Hey, Kay, something that's interested, outdated discipline, Katie. Are you saying (laughs) that it's no longer wise to do what? To discipline discipline your children (laughs) at all, I guess. So I saw this article that a therapist posted, and she listed uh, four or five uh, punishments that she says they're outdated for your children. But then I thought, what's left? So I kind of wanted to ask Lisa yeah. if you still do any of these and if you think um, anything else would be appropriate. Okay. They say um, spanking, outdated. You shouldn't do it. I know we've talked about what we feel yeah. on the show before. Removal of privileges. They said, don't take the iPad away because they'll the kids will just be thinking how unfair the parent is mm-hmm. and how unlucky they are. They said the same thoughts come out with timeouts. Should they say children will just spend the time sitting in their room thinking about how unlucky they are to have an unfair parent <laughs> rather than well, the, what they did? These are things, both of those, I totally do, by the way. Yeah. Just so you know. But I was thinking, I don't know. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. But I know. wasn't there a study saying, and I think we talked about it on the show, saying that time, out, time outs aren't as um, worthy is what they used to be. Yes, it's yeah. not the mm-hmm. right thing to be doing. Yeah, but now I'm just wondering what what would you do to to do to punishment? And then they say reward systems. It also doesn't work because it says you're not building a relationship with your child to teach them to do the right thing. You're tricking them into doing the right thing by incentivizing. You know, doing your chores so you get an ice cream cone. Well, right. you should do your chores well, just yeah, because noticed. that's what you should do. Because but I've asked you to do the chores. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, what were you going to say? <laughs> but I think that works for adults too because you like a reward system. I know, but you don't give me any rewards. <laughs> so that's why I don't do what you want. <laughs> I try to bargain with him all the time and it doesn't work, so I just don't do what he wants. Yeah, I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. I'd be a dreadful father. No, I wouldn't. Um, look, I think, and you, you were having one other one, shaming. Um, and it says shaming, where uh, you should tell your kids to toughen up and, and things like that. I uh-huh. think a lot of people agree now that shaming your children, that's out of date. Yeah. Uh, but some of these others, I thought, kind of works, incentivizing timeouts. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I do. I do take away the iPad if things aren't happening that need to be happening. Well, I think that that's wise. Then what are they doing on a playing game? Yeah, exactly. They're not exactly studying. Exactly. So, you know, I do take the iPad away if things aren't happening in a timely manner okay. um, to my liking. Um, but what I've also been told, too, is that possibly doing it more of them earning the computer hours or earning the uh, iPad hours by, you know, if they do this and this throughout the day, uh, then they'll earn an so hour maybe a chore. of computer time so in the evening. So vacuuming the lounge room, as an example, exactly. equates to half Cleaning an hour their iPad time. Mm-hmm. Or okay. It yeah. Does that seem to work? It does. It's just, it's easier for me as a parent, though, to take it away when they do something wrong. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. I, it's hard to remember to give them the rewards. I do do that in some circumstances, but it's just, I don't know, you just get, as a parent, you're just like on the fly constantly, and it's like, you know, if they're not doing what you're asking them to do, put the iPad away. You know, let's put it away. After school, if you have a good day at school, then we'll, you know, revisit it. Mm. So that's kind of, I mean, sometimes you're just in that pinch, but. Uh, Look, I don't know, I think, I I think all children, regardless, everyone should be disciplined. Adults, children, workforce, we all yes. live in a disciplined life. Yes, there's always you know I mean? consequences. There are consequences yes. to everyone's yes. actions. Yes, I agree. And I think if you, and look, just remember, look, I know sometimes I come across a little tough on some of these things, but I guess I grew up with discipline and strong mm-hmm. discipline. So I, I just feel that it's such a, a good guidance for life. And I'm not saying, you know. So you think it worked? Yeah, I you. don't think, mm. I'm, not saying don't <laughs> be, I'm not saying don't beat your kid into exist, non-existence. <laughs> right, right, I'm right. saying there are consequences for you not doing what you've been asked to do. Yeah. And I don't think shame, I think shaming, shaming is, bad. is the worst thing yeah, I think so that too. you could do to a child. Yeah, it, w- it was it was a trick in reading, in reading what some of the responses were. And I couldn't help but think a lot of these people also don't have children, because maybe it, I think <laughs> in the euphoric world, this is great. It was saying, um, that you shouldn't take things away, you should um, give the child an opportunity to make the right choice. Mm-hmm. And I thought, 
you, when you're busy throughout the day, <laughs> yeah. you can't yeah. at every moment give them an opportunity to <laughs> right. make correct choices. I know. So I guess finding a fair balance. Well, tell, <laughs> us, what you, tell us what you think. Head over to our Midday Kentucky Facebook page. This story is posted up on there. Yep. Tell us what you do to discipline your children. Um, I'm busting mm. to hear about this story. <laughs> so um, you've got three minutes to talk to me about it. Okay, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone at home, because I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Well, it's a new craze, everybody, so be ready. Breast milk is known for having its antibodies that help boost a baby's immune system. Well, now adults could soon be benefiting from the protective effects of the new prebiotic supplement. Would you guys drink? Well, I need to understand human more. Human breast milk. Would you be able to? But drink is it that? in a tablet or is it in a jar? It of can milk? be. It can be. What in, is it? It can be in both forms, tablet form or in liquid form. Too. Who's donating this milk? Uh, it's not going to be a barn of women that, that are breastfeeding and breast pumping. <laughs> it is actually <laughs> going to be created in a lab. They're going to take the human bacteria, um, the complex sugars that are found in breast milk, and they're going to uh, create that in a lab environment. But it will. And what are the benefits? But again? it's going to be created from the actual human bacteria. Yeah. Is it but what is the purpose? What are the, the purpose is um, to help bu boost the immune system. So oh. um, there's, I mean, everybody with breastfeeding, they always tout how beneficial it is for yeah. babies and infants, uh, for their digestive systems, for uh, type two diabetes and whatnot. So same thing with um, adults as well. It will help with irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, diabetes, high blood pressure, depression, obesity, childhood asthma, colitis, and colon cancer. Really? Now, has it been proven to do this yet? No. I reckon if That's they were to the tag subject. it by saying anti-aging, I know it would be flying like off the mm -hmm. shelves. But you know, the baby, the benefits to the baby and to the infants has definitely been proven um, with women's breast milk. The problem is, is they don't, sh they, number one, they don't know if this that's being mimicked in a lab is actually truly going to still benefit not only infants, but adults as well. Well, I remember, I think I can just quickly see something here about eczema. Yes. And if I remember correctly, I, I'm bringing up Kim Kardashian, I'm sorry. <laughs> When she, we were talking about it in our pre-production meeting, um, that she, there was an episode where she was, was she drinking? Yeah, she wanted Courtney's milk. Was she drinking it? But I believe she was rubbing it on her eczema. Now, because that somehow rings a bell. Huh. Yeah, she was doing that. Yeah, she but was, then she was she? talking about tasting it for anti-aging, but she was rubbing it on her skin. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And I just wonder, here's the thing. I think... If this is a great thing, yes. Mm -hmm. But I think it'd be disappointing that it might not happen because there's too many weirdos out there uh -huh. that would think this is something else that it's not. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's a lot of conversation of do you drink your wife's, you know, milk or it's just a little, <laughs> I'm, do I need to open up that conversation? No. I just think it's. Well, they're just saying that it's, it's gross at all. I, yeah. I would taste it. Hmm. Would you really? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't feel compelled to drink breast breast milk, but <laughs> right. I don't think it's odd. People that you're feeding it to your baby. I know right. all my friends that have had kids. They don't enjoy the taste, but they've like they've tried it. Tried yeah. it. Yeah. Have you? Did like, you try I don't it? think that's no, weird. It's your I natural. I know. Like, I don't know. I I don't know if I would do it, but yeah. I don't think it's odd that people do it. I think the pill I form know. I would definitely try. If, well, hold on. They know? they what's the um? I'm going to get it wrong. The pill that they have. After you have a baby, they turn it into a pill. Oh, the placenta. The oh. placenta. Ugh. Again, on keep keeping up with the Kardashians, they did that as well. I'm glad that's, that's where, where you're I getting get all your my reproductive knowledge is from the Kardashians. <laughs> well, they've had enough kids. It's a good place. <laughs> um, so I guess, it, I guess it probably wouldn't be as weird mm -hmm. as just as watch that would be. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, if it was in, if it was in pill form, I think I would you know, definitely try it. If it was proven to have benefits, that's the thing. The studies still have to show that there are benefits. Where are they us. doing this to begin with? Uh, California. Oh, okay. California. Of course, it's always California. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, people. Yeah. I, I don't do know. It. Tell <laughs> us what you think. Head over to our Midday Kentucky Facebook page. I think there is some benefit, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know whether, I know goat's milk is great for eczema yeah. and goat's 
goat milk soap, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was a very big thing here in America and then also was picked up in, in Australia. And some friends of mine actually used the goat milk soap mm -hmm. and it did clear up their eczema. Really? So, who knows everyone. Yeah. Hey everyone, Advantage Osteopractic Physical Therapy is up next and we're talking about the current opioid crisis. Later in the show, we'll also take a look at some fresh flooring options with our good friend Carrie from Carpet One. This is Midday Kentucky everyone, see you in a minute. <laughs>